AITA for telling my brother that he is at fault for his marriage failing? This week my parents and my brother took me out for my birthday. My brother was a bit down because his divorce was finalized earlier this summer. He is living with my mom and dad temporarily because he was no longer eligible to live in military. Housing once the divorce was final. I have never been married so I don't understand but I try to be supportive. Doing things like taking him out so he isn't just sitting in the house all day while my parents are at work or proofreading his resume. I do understand that he is going though some stuff but he spent the entire night complaining and no matter what anyone said or did he was negative. I tried to ignore it but when he made a comment about our waitress while we were walking back to the car, simply because she was wearing an engagement ring I snapped. The waitress didn't mention marriage at all and her service was fine. My brother said she probably lied to her boyfriend to get him to agree to marry her. I snapped and told my brother that his wife didn't lie and his marriage failing was his fault. My brother met my ex-sister-in-law when she had just finished her medical residency and newly in the military. They met in 2008 and got married in 2010. From the start she told my brother she never wanted kids. She was open about being childless by choice to everyone. He dated her and married her. This whole time he thought she would change her mind and after all this time he got mad at her when she got mad at him for pressuring her to have kids. I didn't marry her and I knew she was childless by choice. It wasn't a secret. She divorced him because he wouldn't stop pressuring her to have kids and get her tubes untied. He went so far as to try and change the divorce ground from no fault to fraud claiming she entered the marriage under false pretenses. That didn't go anywhere. He maintains she lied and he is also mad he wasted so much time with her. Before I snapped at him I never said anything. His divorce was none of my business and I only tried to be a supportive brother. But his comment about the waitress pushed me over the edge. He has got his underwear in a twist and wants me to say sorry to him. But I am not sorry. I have listened to him complain for months since she filed for divorce and it's only gotten worse. Since he moved back here. I have tried to be supportive and helpful as much as I can. Was I the ta for snapping at him? He's still pissed about it. NTA. He made his bed. The fraud was all in his own mind. Assuming his ex would change her mind just be, see, he was so wonderful and it would a crime against humanity not to replicate his genes in some form. What an awe. She's better off with oh him and so. Too. Would you be? NTA but also probably not going to get him to see reason. The literal years of him expecting his ex to change her mind should tell you that he's someone who crafts the narrative he wants when confronted with someone telling him something he doesn't want to hear. NTA. Not only was he an asshole for this mess about the divorce, but he also seems to keep bringing it up at inappropriate times and either not caring or not seeing how his attitude is affecting others. NTA. Your ex Sil went as far to be sterilized in order to remain child-free. I am also child-free and similarly sterilized. You stood up for her and the waitress when he was being a prick. He knew the deal and figured he could change her mind and that makes him the awe. NTA. I doubt it will change anything about his perspective. Since he's determined to be miserable. There's not much you can do with someone who's feeling sorry for themselves. He went into the relationship expecting to change someone. And he can only be mad at himself when it didn't happen. When you enter a relationship with a woman who has her tubes tied. I don't think it gets any clearer that she is not going to have children. There's optimism. And then there's stupidity. It's like that game that trending on Twitter. She's a 10. But she doesn't want to have children. Hard NTA. I'm also child free and I feel terrible for your ex Sil. 
When I knew my now husband was close to proposing I asked him one last time if he was sure he didn't want kids. He then asked me if I was sure. It was a deal breaker for both of us. Being on the same page re children is vital and your brother tricked your ex sill. NTA your comments were truthful. And your brother was the one who wasted her time. NTA because he is showing a really gross mindset. He's acting like his wants supersede his ex's bodily autonomy. He needs a reality check before his mindset gets any worse. It would be easy for him to descend into incel territory from here. NTA. It sounds like you've been supportive. But hit him with a hard truth he just isn't willing to hear. That's on him for choosing to live in denial about what really happened. He married someone very vocal about having opposite life goals. And then tried to pressure her into changing her choices. If anyone married under false pretenses, it's him. He's the one who lied by entering a child-free relationship while secretly wanting kids. And now he's projecting his failures on every woman he sees. NTA. If enough people call him out on it, maybe he'll pull his head out of his ass. NTA. But he sure is. His ex-wife made the right call getting out of their marriage before one of her fail-safes put her in jeopardy. Tubals aren't 100% safe. And he's not a good man to try to screw her over during the divorce. Good on you for checking him. NTA. Before I even started seriously dating my now wife. We had at least a brief discussion on our big things. I wanted kids. Did she? We lived in different parts of the state. Was she open to moving to my part? And a few other things. The details can all get hammered out later. But every single person has some deal breakers and if you get married demanding one of those change. Then divorce is inevitable. NTA. Let him stew in his own bitterness. NTA. He needed that reality check and he should start therapy. NTA. What part of, I don't want kids didn't he understand? Quote. I'm always amazed when people believe they can change someone else. The only person that can change me is me. NTA. Bit of hard truth he needed to hear by sound of it. NTA. He's being obnoxious. There's nothing to apologize for and you're within your right to tell him you will not be going out with him or talking to him anymore if this is how he's going to behave. I'd tell him his divorce is no longer a topic I'm willing to hear about anymore. He's said his delusional piece many times. And ta he needed a reality check, you gave him one. NTA. It sounds like the divorce was his fault. NTA he's bitter and he's telling himself lies. You gave it one shot to set him straight now leave it alone. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doomscrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.